In this video, we are going to see how to do the filter based on the category. So in this blog page, so here we need to create the three tabs in order to filter it by the category. So I have planned to create the three tabs with all, with the name all to showcase all the blog posts and other tab based on the category. Here I have used web development and a design. So let's see how to make this. Here in the all post section, I have used the collection list. Let's add a stack above this collection list. And I'm going to give the name as category filter. So we need to add a wrap here. So again, I'm adding a frame. So I'm adding a frame. Let's drag it inside this category filter. It's not aligning properly. So I am giving the direction in the vertical. Okay, fine. Let's align it to the start. And I'm giving the gap 240. Okay. So inside the frame, let's add one frame. So it can be duplicated twice. Okay. Now I'm going to name it as category filter wrap. And I'm naming this frame as category okay now I'm making this layout to stack and let's distribute to start and let's make this to a stack okay and I'm taking away the color and inside it I'm adding a text Here I am giving it as all. Now let's give the fit content for the high fit content. As the same we are going to do for the category filter wrap fit content fit content. Now for the padding, I'm giving it as 20 for all over the thing. And let's give the radius to 10. And I'm going to fill the color to blue. And we need to change the style for this text. So I'm giving the size to 20, 22, it will be fine I think, okay. Uh, this padding value really seems to be so large, so I'm again changing the padding to 15. So let's change the top and bottom, let it be 10 for the bottom, 10, okay. Is look good I'm duplicating for twice let's change the name to design and for this category let's change it to web development so only if this tab is active it should be in a blue color if not it should be in some other color so now I'm selecting this second category and let's change the color to gray let's look good the same for the next one so we have did the basic setup for this filter but we need to make this tab as workable 
So I'm going to create it as component. Let's create the component as category filter. I'm creating it. The first variant has been created and it is the primary one. And let's give the name as all. So this design will work only for the all. We need to make the design for other two categories. So I'm creating another variant. Let's name it as design. So for the web development, again we need to create a variant and let's name it as web development. So we have made the basic setup. Let's make it as workable. So here I'm going to the design variant. I'm selecting this first category and I'm choosing the color as gray and for the second category as blue. So we can understand this variant is for design and I'm going to the web development category here I'm choosing the first one and I'm giving the color to gray and for the third one I'm giving the color to blue okay so we did it now we need to make the interactions so here I'm choosing all and in the interaction let's create a new transition so on tab I need to set the variant to all and for the design let's add the transition to design for the web development with the variant B web development so on clicking the all it will take the all variant on clicking on this design it will take the design variant on clicking on the web development it will take the web development variant this all variant is a primary so the changes which we do in this variant will be applicable for other two variants I'm going back let's check if it's working I'm previewing it so I'm clicking the design we did the transition here we need to set up the filter for it I'm going to the collection list and in the filter section I'm choosing the category equals design so only the design category will be displayed the same follows for the web development I'm choosing the collection list in the filter I'm choosing the category equals web development The only the web development category blog post is displaying here. So I'm going back to the blog. Let's check if it is working. I'm clicking on the design. I'm clicking on the web development. The interaction working great, but the transition is not good. In this variant I'm choosing the transition to instant so it should instantly change the transition again I'm going back let's check it yep it's working great so 
so i hope you understand the concept of conditional visibility clearly i have given you the remix link in the description so you can use this to understand the concept more clearly don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the more videos